Hey guys, Exotic Skilled Cards here. Um, I wanted to give a little tutorial on what I use for stripping uh, normal chrome from model cars. So what I use normally is I just use uh, Clorox, throw the ball cleaner with bleach. Um, it is like a gel, it's like a green gel. So that's what I use. Um, and I put it in a cup like so. Now I put um, about one third of water in here. And then I put in the, uh, the bleach until it gets to about two thirds. So really about one third cup of each. After I do that, um, I've already put this in here. I give it like a little mix. And the reason I use water is just so that way the bleach doesn't uh, reel in the plastic. Um, I've done it without um, water um, on Tamiya's chrome parts and I had no problem with, uh, <clears throat> with ruining the part at all. So what I do then is just take your side cutters or your um, hobby cutters. And then clip your parts off like normal. And then what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and drop it in. And it usually doesn't take too long with this. So I have some tweezers. Just kind of give it a little shaking. And it doesn't really take too long. Um, I usually let it sit in there. And you may want to wear some gloves so that way you don't get anything on you. But as you can tell, it's already um, starting to eat. I don't want to drip anything here. It's already starting to eat away that chrome pretty quick. As you can tell, I've already got all this chrome off the side here. So... Let's see if we can focus in on that. It's already starting to eat it pretty quick. So then, within I think what, maybe like a bit and a half. I've had it in there on the video probably. So, um, some people are a little leery on using bleach. Now like I've said, I've used it without this, at least this kind of without um, water. Uh, but basically any bleach with uh, Sodium hypochlorite uh, is the main ingredient that's stripping the chrome here. So that's how I strip my uh, my chrome parts. Um, you can mix your own ratio. I, as long as I put a little bit of water in there, um, you shouldn't really have any problems with uh, ruining the plastic at all. Um, and then once it's done. I, I put it in a soap and water bath and, and a water bath to get rid of that. Um, you can also use uh, Purple Power. It's a great degreaser for even stripping. Uh, this also strips um, most lacquer paints from uh, your body, car bodies. You know, you put it in a tub and strip it. And you can also, uh, you can kind of reuse it too for a while until it gets dirty. Um, if you're real worried about it, you can put a coffee filter in here and strain it back in. Um, I've done about two bodies worth and I still have a full jar here. So, um, so this really has been in here not really that long. I do have some paint on here. I don't know if it's going to strip the paint at all. But as you can tell, in less than two minutes, um, this whole part is gone.
and there's no issue. And then like I said, I'll put it in a water bath. So, alright guys, that is my tutorial for uh, stripping chrome. Um, real quick, this was a, this is from a Revell kit, uh, a charger. Um, but like I said, it does work <coughs> uh, with Tamiya's uh, chrome rims as well. Although their chrome is beautiful, so if you don't plan on painting the rim, I wouldn't uh, strip it. <laughs> but other than that, um, I've had no issues with ruining plastic or anything. Uh, I wouldn't recommend leaving that in there for you know longer than like a half hour or an hour just in case. It could ruin the plastic, but I've never had any instances where it ruins the plastic. So, hope you guys liked the uh, the video. Um, I usually use pop stick, like I said, to stir stuff. Uh, Clorox toilet bowl cleaner with bleach, and or purple greaser, but purple, uh, sorry, purple power. It'll take a little bit longer. Uh, really, not much longer. Maybe about ten minutes. Or so and this this stuff does it real quick so that's why I like using this and you can have a tub or a little cup nearby and just drop your parts in there and then take them out put the cap back on your uh, your little tub there or whatever you have your cleaner in and uh, it's that simple hope you guys like this tutorial um, please comment and like this video and subscribe for more tutorials to come Thanks. Have a good one, guys.